Suspect surrenders in connection with the assault of a Williamsburg rabbi. Yesterday, somebody attacked the local leader, throwing bleach in his face. Tonight, that rabbi says he knows his attacker and believes he was targeted because of his support for sexual abuse victims in the community. News 12's Katie Lusso is outside the 90th precinct in Williamsburg with the very latest. Katie. That's right, Kevin. Actually, investigators were just brought out a man. Inside, they were questioning him all day, a man who's accused of throwing some kind of substance at a rabbi. Now, that rabbi is known very well in this community for being an advocate for victims of sexual abuse. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that video of 36-year-old Milik Schnitzler, who police brought out in handcuffs a little earlier. We're told he turned himself into police here. He stayed very quiet, offering up no response as to why he would have done something like this. Now, meanwhile, Rabbi Nahem Rosenberg tells us that he was walking down Riebling Street here in Williamsburg when Schnitzler tapped him on the shoulder and then allegedly threw what he says felt like bleach in his face. Now, Rabbi Rosenberg is very well known in this community for advocating for sexual abuse victims. In fact, he has a blog set up and a call in tip line for victims, something that police say could be connected to his attack. What we're talking about is a, a, a person who uh, threw the Clorox, I believe it was, uh, and he is the son of someone who was named on the uh, victim's uh, internet site. So that's the connectivity here. They think that they're going to stop me with these threats. I'm willing to move out of town. I slept in a different city yesterday, in a different state. Um, even if I have to walk with a, a blind seeing dog. I'm not going to stop the war, and this is the message that they have to understand. <clears throat> Now, Schnitzler is charged with criminal possession of a weapon, menacing criminal mischief, both felony and misdemeanor accounts of assault. And I'm also told that Rosenberg's lawyer has asked for a special prosecutor to be put on this case. That's the latest from Williamsburg. I'm Katie Lusso. Let's